and for another edition of Eat My Shorts. So today we discuss handling business in the house and why that's important for you. You know, people think the police are out there and they're going to be your best friend, and, you know, they might. You know, I mean, there are some local police here that I don't hate, and there are some really good people, too. There are also some really lousy ones, and, you know, I guess what I'm trying to say is there is one kind of justice in this world, regardless of your political, ideological, or, you know, religious stance on things. That's the justice we make for ourselves. As some of you may know, I've, I've seen death up close. And I'm not just talking about room 1433, you know, that was fucked up. But most of you have heard the grandma story about when I had to pull my sidearm to protect my mother. You know, but there's others. You know, there's like the instance where my cousin was murdered in Rupert, Idaho by some asshole. He was drunk asleep on his grandma's couch and some piece of shit, some cowardly back shoot, no good pussy, come up behind him and blew his head all over the trailer with a 45 and ran away. And his grandma found him. Fucked my whole family up. You know, that's why you handle your business in-house people like that. Yeah, the justice system got the little bastard, and he's probably going to die on death row, but, you know, people have been getting put off death row a lot lately. And, you know, as the years go on, people start dying off. People forget about promises they've made. You know, the same goes for people that, I don't know, let's say, uh, snatch bodies, for example. Yes, body snatching, that's a real thing. My aunt was involved in that downward funeral thing as a uh, victim of it posthumously. And um, that guy Lance, you know, he's going to have a fun time in prison. And I'm going to see to it that he meets, uh, well, I'm going to make sure he meets some interesting people. We're just going to leave it there. But, you know, eventually, you know, those misdemeanor charges, you know, I mean, even if the FBI figures out who he was selling those body parts to, and yes, it's been rumored, it's been politicians, judges, lawyers, and we know which uh, we know which affiliation a lot of those people are on. You know, when he gets out, you know, he's going to have to deal with surviving members of this family, and that's kind of going to suck for him. You know, it's going to be fun for us. <laughs> We're not going to be nice about it. That's for damn sure. Nobody should be. You know, even in death, you're not sacred. You know, there's nothing sacred about anything, even in death. You know, people have just this cold, detached emotion to it, or emotionless existence, rather. And, you know, what what this all ties to is, is your family and your support group. You have to be able to handle business when you need to handle your business. If somebody's stealing from you, you need to figure it out, and you need to stop the problem. If somebody's doing other things that are horrible and unspeakable, you need to be able to handle your business and not cry about it after. You know, you, you've got to kind of pack that in some different area of your mind and you got to work through the trouble. But I hope this helps somebody when they're uh, planning, you know, for their, you know, the end of the world as we know it type of stuff because, you know, a lot of people are doing that nowadays and I don't think the world's going to end with some great bang. I think it's going to be just a casual deterioration of morals and values. And probably go out as a fucking whimper. You know, one of them death rattles you hear where somebody's just gasping for air and the dribbles coming out and everything else. It's pretty fucking horrid. But that's what our society's going through because our ancestors fought hard. And in more recent years, we, in the last few generations, have let things fucking slide and get to this point. It's nobody's fault but our own. And I guess what I'm trying to say is, um, you know, we, we can have that choice every day. We can either be better or we can be not better. And that's up to you. But a little food for thought. And this is probably my last video for the day because, to be honest with you, I'm tired. I'm worn out mentally. These ideas just fucking make my nose bleed sometimes and I have no idea why. But, you know, sound off in the comments. See what you think. You know, I realize people get heated about this whole defund the police thing or, you know, fund the police more thing. I, I don't care what side of that anybody's on. My goal is to make people self-reliant, self-sufficient. 
and always armed and prepared to deal with the wolf at their door because when you see snarling teeth in the dark, you are your own first responder.